Wait, 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 wait. Is that LA? It's Astro Aesthetics. Let's get it, baby. Drake got the whole rap industry on his ass right now. Everybody dislikes Drake. Ye West wants to get revenge on Drake for what? Kendrick Lamar. When it comes to this thing with Drake, even Rick Ross getting in the mix. Rick Ross said that it was because Drake sent French Montana a cease and desist. With Future, he's saying... We don't know if it's about thotties. We don't know if it's about music. Is he upset because 821, can you do something for me? Is Future upset because 21 Savage did something for Drake? What I'm also saying here is this. There's multiple elements. Is it the publishing? They're saying that Drake has a sweetheart deal. Ye said that Drake allegedly has a lifetime deal and he, he feels sorry for Drake. Aspects of Drake's contracts were undisclosed. And remember, in the previous video, we was like, yo, does Drake's deal have any type of perks, any type of extracurricular variables in there that was undisclosed, that remains undisclosed to the public, potentially? And we think that's a very valid, valid, substantiative claim. When we look at Drake, we cannot deny that Drake is performing America. When's the last time y'all seen somebody been high for 15 years? And the elephant in the room is because y'all think Drake is Jewish, that that has something to do with it. When we look at other Jewish artists, I'm not sure if Asher Roth is Jewish or Lil, Lil Dicky is Jewish or I think Mac Miller is Jewish, but Mac Miller was just different. Yo, Mac That's Miller was aesthetic. different. So shout out Mac Miller and that, and love to his family as well. Mac Miller, well, Mac Miller did get like a, some kind of $10 million deal. And then after he got that deal, we don't know what, what was happening after that. When it comes to Mac Miller, he was performing. Mac Miller, Wiz Khalifa, Big Sean, Big Crit, ASAP Rocky. When it comes to a $10 million contract, it's like, just because an artist is Jewish, could they get a $10 million contract? Or look, what about LeBron James? LeBron James has one of the... They call Drake's contract a LeBron-sized contract, right? LeBron James is not Jewish. I don't know if he has something else on paper, but LeBron James is not Jewish, America. So why does Drake have a LeBron-sized deal? And we're not saying that LeBron got a Nike pack. It, it just comes off a bit hypocritical. And that's why I want all of these niggas to just... Drake that's did that. Aesthetic. Drake did exactly this. Drake definitely did that. Drop, get, drop the fucking... <laughs> man. Because it seemed like y'all ain't going to say to the other... Got these packs? Y'all ain't going to say nothing to the... Got these perks and their contracts? Y'all only gonna say some Drake? And, and that's why I'm like, what is this really about? Like, stop games. Keep it a bean with the audience. We want to know what the is going on. This is unfair to me. Drake, y'all all did songs with him. Y'all all did songs with Drake. Y'all wrote songs for Drake. Drake wrote songs for y'all. Y'all gave Drake music. Drake gave y'all music. Why y'all all of a sudden acting like y'all don't rock with him? When in, in the industry, y'all be smashing each other's thoughts anyway. Y'all be smashing each other's thoughts. Is Drake doing different things though? Is Drake doing hitting people up from the past, hitting up people from like 20 years ago and smashing people from 30 years ago and acting like he ain't do like that's a different type of vibe when certain people in the industry they'll separate it from their personal lives. If Drake got an issue with somebody, is he crossing boundaries? Is is that why y'all don't rock with him or something? As we could see, Drake is a strategic guy. After this, after AI Tupac and AI Snoop Dogg, I can't put nothing past I'm not putting nothing past this light-skinned Canadian man. He put AI Tupac and AI Snoop Dogg on a fucking song. What do y'all think Kendrick Lamar did when he heard that shit? I can't imagine 
what Kendrick was doing when he was like, yo, this, this nigga really, really did this shit. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. I can't put nothing past this dude, Drake, man. Everything with this dude, it's like, who would have ever thought that he would have dropped an album dang near every two years? He dropped the album last year. He dropped the album uh, the year before that. He dropped a, a joint album. Then he went on tour. He went on another tour. Then he brought J. Cole on tour. Brought Lil Dirk and Lil Wayne on the tour. Finished the tour. Then when he finished the tour, remember when people saying it took Drake three weeks, Drake was on tour. Drake is on tour. Y'all got to understand. Artists, we on tour. We work working out. You might not hit the studio every time. Yeah, you might have a studio on the tour bus. On the, You might not see artists really recording on tour like that. Of course, they'll have it in the bus. They'll do songs, etc. Working on a whole album while you're on tour. You rehearsing, you conditioning your body, you might your mindset might be in in music performance mode, not necessarily music recording. Y'all feel me? And yes, we're not saying that artists won't record on tour, but if Drake is on tour, y'all really think. He he's he's focused on let me stop my tour and let me focus on his diss track. If you look at what he's doing, he's taking his time. He's not just hopping on everything. He's not doing that. He's letting it fade space out. He's he's timing it. Y'all noticed that Ye came yo, Ye is wilding on him and think Ye, Ye is doing this to buy Kendrick Lamar more time. The conversation might slightly shift. And honestly, this is what I'm saying. As much as I rock with Ye, I don't think that Like That remix really did anything. I love that Ye made that song because we going viral about for we almost at 500,000. At the same time, it's really not effective. We're still waiting on a Kendrick Lamar response. I, yeah, I don't know about y'all, but I'm still waiting on a Kendrick Lamar response, America. Ye, a titan. Ye is one of them. Ye just did that to get himself back out there, to get his Yeezy pods off the ground. And Ye already hate Drake. But at this point, with what Ye said about quote-unquote eliminating Drake, there's no coming back from shit like that. You know, y'all, like, there, there's no coming back from stuff like that. Whatever we once imagined of the industry, let's just be honest. That's not gonna be the case no more. All of these dudes is against Drake. People's personal lives is getting involved. It doesn't seem like these are the same people before where there there was older gentlemen telling them, yo, don't do that or do that or don't do that. Now, the, the, some of these guys are their own masters. They low-key do whatever the heck they want to do. Not in that sense where they could literally do whatever they want to do exactly because you got to have boundaries. At the same time, Drake using AI Tupac, AI Snoop Dogg, Ye West basically saying Metro Boomin and Future brought him into the studio. Metro Boomin and Future brought Ye West into a dungeon and said, Future was like, hey, yo. He ain't do an album with me. And remember, at one point, Ye and Drake was teasing a joint album. The same way everybody from the West Coast passed it to Kendrick, Ye passed it to Drake. The way Kendrick got knighted and the whole West Coast put their arms around him, Ye knighted Drake. So, Ye, you passed it to Drake. And that's why I'm, what we're asking what was the initial divide? Kim Kardashian was at Drake's show. In the zone that Drake been in, what happened after that show? Is is it rap at this point? Is that why J. Cole tapped out? Did J. Cole was like, hey yo, man, I don't I don't I don't wanna aid this. I don't J. Cole was like, I don't wanna aid like this war in the Middle East or like this war in, in hip hop. Cause yeah, we having a war in the Middle East over there. There's they're wilding out Israel and Iran, and then this they they keep calling this the hip hop civil war. 
But if you look at what's going on over there in the in the Middle East, I guess, that would kind of be a civil war if essentially on the same lens. These places are not that far apart. Like That's over there in the Middle East, Iran and Israel, they're like four hours away. They're like four, three, four hours away, y'all. Now, even though they're two different nations, they wouldn't call it a civil war. When you look at what's going on over here in North America with hip hop, rap, people keep calling that a civil war. And when J. Cole steps out of it, it's an interesting thing. It's like J. Cole been popping it his whole career. Yay. What I what I'd ra I'd rather Ye go at J. Cole. I'd rather J. Cole go at Ye. Alright, cool. We could do that. We could have a ISO. ISO Ye and J. Cole. Drake, get on Ye ass when you ready. Deal get but we want Drake and Kendrick right now. We don't want Ye appearing like a hidden character in Smash Brothers getting on Drake ass out of nowhere, America. Y'all feel me? Let's just deal with Ye, J. Cole, Drake, Kendrick. And after Drake and Kendrick finish they, they spar, no, because this is not a spar. I'm walling. This is not a spar. This is Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney. This is Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney, y'all. Because somebody's career will not be the same. Devin Haney ain't getting knocked out. You gotta go to Floyd's gym. You better get Gervonta Davis trainer. Y'all was calling him crazy. We we posted some of the content. The corruption and entertainment. Y'all was saying something is wrong with Ryan Garcia. He's gonna lose the fight. Y'all was even talking about canceling the fight. Y'all was even thinking about completely putting it off because Ryan Garcia was walling. We we see what's going on in the news. And it's like, are, are, after the fight, Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney, that's Drake and Kendrick Lamar. Somebody's career will not be the same. And if we're being honest, Drake did not take an L yet. Drake did not take an L with the push of T thing. And I'm only saying that because Drake wasn't allowed to respond. If this was now, if, if Pusha T would have done that now, you would get a different Drake. And even that, they're saying that Pusha T is in the cut. Remember a few years ago when Ye dissed Drake and Ye was like, I'm going to add Pusha to the chat. Y'all remember when Ye West added Pusha to the conversation? Remember that, right? He had Jay-Z in the group chat. He had Pusha T. He invited Pusha T in the group chat. He had Drake in the group chat. He had Kim Kardashian in the group chat. Man, that nigga probably had Oprah and Beyonce in the group chat too. Kanye was like, yo, I'm about to call Pusha. Ye was making Pusha sound like he the big bad school bully. Yo, Drake, I'm gonna pull, I'ma call Pusha and Pusha gonna pull up and give you a wedgie. And he gonna put you in the locker. And you and, and he gonna keep you in the in the bean. That's how Ye was trying to make it seem. This situation. By far, one of the most wildest rap battles. And once again, not calling even this a rap battle no more, America. I don't, I don't even know where this thing is going. Ye talking about what he said about Drake with Justin LaBoy. Oh boy, boy, boy. This this just doesn't sound like rap anymore. Ye came on a song saying, yo, yo, Kendrick, yo, dad, I got you. I'm going to take these pussy, I'm going to take this pussy ass nigga out. Ye popping it like that. That really don't sound like rap. How are y'all going to take Drake out with diss tracks? The, the music is just the entertainment part for the sales. For Ye to promote the Easy Pods America. Make sure y'all like, share, comment, subscribe. It's Astro Aesthetics. Let's get it, baby.